So now they're the same temperature. I'm going to add the milk to T1 and then I will give it five minutes. So here we go and the milk is in. Okay, so we have started a timer. I might actually give that a stir just for completeness. And so in theory, the temperature in T1, that's 10 seconds so far, has gone, look at that, it's negative five degrees. Okay, so initially by putting in the milk, 30 milliliters of milk, I've dropped the temperature of this one by about five degrees and we'll just, I don't know, we'll give it, we'll give it five minutes. That's 30 seconds so far and then we'll come back and see how we're doing. Oh, I'm not gonna make you sit through the remaining four minutes and 20 seconds of waiting for the tea to adjust temperatures. I will skip through some of the highlights as such. If you wanna watch the entire cooling process, as always, I will upload all the footage unedited onto my second channel. There's a link in the description. You can check it out in case you want all of this delicious data. Okay, we're just under four minutes to go. I guess I should count down every, we'll do three seconds. So we're coming up on a minute and a half, ready? Okay, ready, okay, here we go. 11 seconds till the countdown, ready? A minute 30, and now we wait. So I guess, I mean, hello everyone who's bothered watching the footage on the second channel, I'm very impressed. You're the same people who watched me flip that stupid coin 900 times, I bet. Now, hopefully this footage will be a lot easier to upload. I can't tell you the problems I had trying to upload the hour and a half of coin flipping footage. I, oh, hang on, we're coming in, we're coming in, ready? Two minutes. Yeah, seriously, uh, first of all, my computer kept crashing whenever I tried to export all the footage. I had to upgrade the software I used. I had to get a bigger hard drive to render the whole thing. I do, seriously, the number of files it spews out and just creates and temp folders is ridiculous. Eventually I got the whole thing saved and then uploading it was a nightmare, but I finally uh, got it done. In this case though, we're gonna, oh, hang on, ready, ready. Two and a half minutes. I mean, in this case, it's only five minutes of footage, so that should be easy enough to upload. And then uh, if you want, you can check the data as it's coming out. I mean, you can see it up, because digitally I've put it next to me, but I actually can't see that. So actually, I don't want to move anything, otherwise it'll jump around in the real footage. How are we doing? Okay, that's sitting pretty solid at a difference of five degrees. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Three minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I, we, I, I'm tempted to switch it to get the absolute temperatures of these so we know, because I guess they're both cooling. I can't tell. Okay, afterwards we'll have a closer look. I'm reasonably curious to find out if the, how much the difference is changing as we go, because I don't know if I'm going to get a significant difference out the other side. If anyone does take all this data and they want to enter it into Excel or any kind of... Oh, hang on, wait. Three and a half minutes any kind of data format, even just a text file. Slap some commas between them, it'll be great. Uh, then do let me know, I'll link that um, from the description as well. And so if anyone else wants to, if someone does do it, and someone else wants it, it'll be down there. You can plot it, have some fun, uh, do whatever you want. Um, yeah, and hopefully it will match my predicted uh, plot that I did earlier on. Okay, so, oh, here we go, ready, ready. Four minutes. Some of you may remember this kettle. This is the one that I de-beeped in one of my older videos ages ago. In fact, I filmed it in the same room. I'll sit over there. You can see a different picture in the background if you watch it. So if you wanna go check out the de-beeping of the kettle, click, I guess, on the kettle. I'll make sure I remember to set that as a link uh, and you can go check it out. We'll do that. Uh, I'll put it in the description as well. Hang on. There you Four and a half minutes and I'm gonna then say five minutes and I'll cut that in and it will look uh, amazing like the incredible passage of time. Uh, yes, you can check that out. And um, yeah, this is my living room. That's my sofa. 
I thought, you know, given I was doing a cooking thing, it'd be nice to do it in a more kind of house domestic setting. Okay, here we go. We're almost out, almost out. Ready? And what was I doing before? I said four and a half minutes. And five minutes. We are done. I'm dumping in the other lot of milk into tea two. I'm going to give that a quick stir for completeness. And I'm going to check out, please be a negative number. And it is a positive number. What is, what on, what the, hang on, what have I? No, that's right, that's right. I want a positive, I want a positive number because this one's hotter than that one. I forgot which way around I put it. That's fantastic. So by putting 2.2, 2.3, so around 2.25, two and a quarter degrees, T1 is two and a quarter degrees warmer than T2 because I put the milk in first. It lost heat slower. It radiated less heat compared to the other T and it has actually ended up warmer. That's so good. That's actual mass in practice and in, in reality. 